Alright guys, first off, right off the bat, I want to go ahead and apologize for the amount of mail time videos that have been coming out. Um, they're few and far between, and I'm behind a month. That's a long fucking time for someone that's sending in something to be able to see it being opened on video, and I, I really do apologize for that. And right now, I have a huge pile. Absolute, absolutely. Well, well, that's a large pile for me, and then the camera makes it look fucking tiny. But there's a lot of shit there, all right? And uh, I'm gonna open it all right now. First things first, I'm gonna open something that the guy told me it's okay if I don't open it on camera, and that he just wanted to show his support by sending it. And uh, and so that definitely means I'm gonna open it on camera. See, like, how much tape did he use? And then, here's the piece de resistance. It's a fucking Adidas box. Inside here is my very own used It's a G drive. It's like a RAID system. You got one, two, three, four seven hundred and fifty gigabyte hard drives, which turns out to be three terabytes and its own little tower. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. And uh it's pretty cool looking, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna hook this bad boy up, put it on top of my tower. It's gonna look pretty sweet. Thank you, Mr. Chapman. On to the next one. This one's the... This one sounds like it has bro broken shit in it. It's from, from Young Money. And I wouldn't have... Yeah, I know a lot of people criticize the way I open shit. But I wouldn't have to fucking hack at these things like a madman if you guys would just use proper... Just tape, man. Just fucking tape. You, these things are like sealed. Like you're trying to keep international secrets. Oh god, what the fuck? It's just a bunch of random shit. Hold on. All right. First thing. First things first. We have a um, a Yankee screwdriver. This one's like a little tiny one though. This one's pretty fucking sweet. Not gonna lie. We have a um. Frederick Keys bracelet, a dollar bill. We got some giant Pokemon cards. Is that my fucking face on it? Oh my. <laughs> Beer flavored uh, uh, d drum drum pop thing, dum dum. It's going in the garbage. Now we have a legit Pokemon card. It's a trap inch. I don't know what that is. Is that thing good? Is that thing worth a lot of money? Can I sell that? Oh, here we go. Now we got a bunch of World of Warcraft cards. I think World of Warcraft has a trading card game. He got me some swag. It's a keyboard necklace made with the uh, my favorite letters of the alphabet. Focus on my hand, or I'll pimp slap you. Yeah, boy. That's what's up. Uh, we have some sort of rock. Uh, a Yankee candle, lush berry. What do you like? Some of this looks intentional. The other, the guy back scratcher. The other part of it just looks like just you put shit in here, just random stuff. I don't know what this is. What is this? What does this do? like a cock ring thing? I don't know what that is. A little TNT block from Mind Man. A little creeper guy from, from Mind Man with angry eyebrows. <laughs> a little goat. <laughs> Some sort of fucking circumcision tool. I don't know exactly what that's for, but these look fucking gnarly as fuck, man. Check this guy out. He's a little, he's a little SWAT dude. Ready to fucking squash all the rebellions. Finally, a piece of paper stapled 100 million times. It just says, hey Sam, it's been a long journey with your goddamn channel. My name is Grayson, and I'm from Frederick, Maryland, home of the Blue Crab in Old Bay. First off, I've been watching you back when you were Pleb General Sam 122. I'm still subscribed to 122. 
I remember when your catchphrase was sweet bear sweet barrel of wine is what he says, but it's actually sweet berry wine. Sweet berry wine! <laughs> Questions for you, Sammy boy. Bro, what happened to videos, not Kirk clips, with Steve and Brian? Um, honestly, we, we only play together, we play a lot of uh, uh, League of Legends, and like, you can't really make League vids unless you're the shit, you know, like, if you're really good at League. It's it's too competitive of a game. It's like the same thing why I won't make a Counter-Strike videos most of the time. What the fuck, why won't Red Dragon reply to my ass on Steam? Uh, Brian is... <laughs> Brian is the most antisocial person I've ever met. And that's coming from me. And I have zero in real life friends. I have none. So that's pretty fucking antisocial. Give a shout out to Shazbot04. He makes good content. That's Brandon, not Steve, by the way. Uh, why did you never respond to my comments when I only write cantaloupe? Be All right, same thing. Here, let, let me go over something real quick. Same thing with Snapchat. If you just send me, like, a message, that's not a question or anything. It's just, like, a fucking picture of your toilet, and you just say poop. How the fuck am I... And if someone sent that to you, how the fuck are you supposed to respond to that? It's just fucking weird, man. It's just fucking weird. What YouTubers do you watch? Uh, dude, it's all about Protopod. And, um, um, uh, watch Jimmy DeResta. Um, Ethan and Ela. Um, that's about it. Uh, Vsauce, man. I like Vsauce. He's got a, he's got a beautiful picture of Bell Rand. What a fucking, what a sexy beast. Alright, thanks for all the fucking garbage. And then, there's some cool stuff in here, though. We got the... The little Justice Warrior, that's pretty sweet. I'll put him next to one of my black figurines to keep him in line. Oh, and then he, he added a dollar to the subscriber dollar fund. He's got like a used Vaseline thing. That's fucking gross. That sickens me. That's in the garbage now. And he also put in some like 50 cent pieces and stuff. That's pretty sweet. T.Y. baby girl. T.Y. With a, a bouncy ball. He also put a bouncy ball in there. That's pretty much the highlight of my day. Alright, this next one is from Bill Carr from uh, Hidalgo, Illinois. Trying to fucking get in it. And everyone tapes their shit up so fucking hard. Yo, th okay, this, this guy knows the... This guy knows how to make Sam happy. If he was my wife, I would be utmost happy. Never mind, I take that back. He has sent me, I thought it was food when I first opened it, but it's all fucking, it's all weird shit. Well, this one's bacon bits. He also sent me like dog food, like dog treats. My liege, so I was watching your Nidhogg Flurry of Skill video, that's a good video, a couple weeks ago, and you made some Bruce Lee, Liu Kang ninja noise that made me laugh so fucking hard that I ripped a razor blade fart that split my barrel. <laughs> the inevitable damage assessment on my starfish, I remember the name of a Chinese plum that a scary fucking Samoan fellow gave me several years ago, so I ordered us a couple bags. You might not like Li Hing Mui. It is highly sugared, slightly sour, and mostly pit, but you might enjoy gnawing on a few. I threw in an old army how to be a pussy manual, my old rank, and one of my airborne tabs. I also got you some fucking spaghetti and other treats for you and your dogs. Alright, so he put some other treats in here, like Butterfinger Bites, Runts, some fucking Lifesavers. Is this what he's talking about? Sweet Lee Hoing, Hoing Mui? Uh, these look like dried up fucking white dog shit, dude. Like, what the fuck are these things? You know, like when dog shit's been sitting in the grass for too long, and it's got like white powder on it? That's what this looks like right now. It's got aspartame in it, isn't that good? It's a product of Thailand. Thailand, go fuck yourself. These things are gross.
fuck that, man. That shit's gross. Alright, he sent me a bunch of, like, doggy treats. I don't have any dogs. I don't really like dogs. I'll give them to my mom's dogs. Yeah, they can they can eat this shit. Uh, we also, he gave me some, um, roasted garlic and herb pasta sauce. <laughs> I feel like this went from, like, sending Sam shit just to open it in a video to, like, send Sam food. He's a poor motherfucker. <laughs> It's a food drive for Sam. <laughs> With a fucking A1, A1 steak sauce. I got an airborne patch. And, uh, and this one that looks like a teardrop. I think that means that he cried a lot in basic training, so they gave him one of these. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. Here we have one from Sarah Huzar. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. That's like a crazy last name. Here we have a, a fucking... Sampai, please notice me. It's on a, a Hamilton. That's going in the subscriber dollar fund. We're actually, it's up to like 40 bucks now, man. We could buy some serious shit with 40 Dolores. Here we have a little note slapped onto a bag of candy. These have a spicy outer layer and a hard flavored candy underneath. Also a watermelon flavor, which is the best. But I couldn't find any, so these are the next best flavor. What the fuck are these things? Virgo Mango. Hot meter. Wait, they're fucking hot? It's hot mango candy? The fuck's wrong with you? Oh, it's like a whole thing of weird ass candy. These are my personal favorite in this Mexican candy starter pack. Oh, this is all Mexican shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. This one, dude, look at this guy. Guy. Okay. He's like a little fucking turd right there. He's so happy to be on this package. These are my personal favorite. This is Mexican Candy Starter Pack. They're spicy and have a hard outer coat. What's with spicy shit? Do Mexican people, like, love just blowing out their asshole every night? Some crazy... These are what my grandparents would give to me whenever I'd see them. Because these candies are cheap as fuck. <laughs> but very tasty. It's a goat milk lollipop. It's Duvalin B. Sabor. On. Look at that. Look how happy that kid is. Then she said her boyfriend insisted that she send me a lock of his pubes. They even they even put a little fucking rubber band around the pubic hair. So it's like a beautiful little lock. I could make a fishing lure with that. Go fly fishing with your, your boyfriend's pubic hair. Some like nasty looking wafer things. These usually come in a bigger size but the minis were too cute to pass up. The white stuff is edible and part of the candy. In case you're wondering who I am, I am Sarita Cheeks, who recently added you on Snapchat. Though you may not remember, as I'm sure you have many people adding you all the time, because who doesn't like a good donut butt pick, huh? Um, it was actually a bagel. I used a bagel as an asshole. Okay, anyways. Uh, yes, I do remember. You're the lady from Mexico that's Canadian. In this postage, I've included some very basic Mexican candies. Underline basic. In other words, like, I'm not, my, my palate isn't refined enough to enjoy the uh, higher-end Mexican candies. She had to start me out with the fucking, the bitch pack. But, you know, I'm not going to complain there. I mean, she's just insulting my, uh, my taste buds. <laughs> I have also included $10. Here's why. So I walked into a Target thinking I would find a Chick-fil-A gift card to buy for you. And well, I was wrong. Instead of searching around town, my lazy ass just decided to pack you some money. Use it however you want, obviously. Maybe you can treat your lady to some dollar menu stuff. I don't know. I don't really go to Chick-fil-A. Alright, first of all, what the fuck's wrong with you? Why would you pass up the chicken filet? Secondly, why the fuck would you buy me? This still baffles me. Spicy fucking candy. Candy that's spicy. It's got like fucking taco powder on the little handle. All right, hold on. You guys need to fully appreciate the texture of this thing. It looks like a burnt foot. <coughs> Why? It fuck it's it tastes like I'm fucking licking the side. It's like taco meat, but on a lollipop. What's in the middle? Mango flavored candy. Coated with chili. 
Okay, at first I wanted to be respectful and say that I respected Mexican culture, but at this point it, it just sickens me. We need to build a wall. Not to keep people from coming over the border, but to keep this shit from coming into my fucking country. That's going in the garbage. That's fucking gross. Hold on, we, I, I'll try, uh, let's try some of this wafer shit next. This one gets a thumbs up from me. I don't know what this is. It doesn't tell me. Everything's in Spanish. And it looks like a fucking piece of shit. And it's gonna break my teeth. It's a Jolly Rancher. But that's all, that's all I can handle of that. And what? I never really got to ask, what the fuck's up with the bacon bits, man? Who sent me... The guy before this sent me the bacon bits. Airborne guy. I don't even put bacon bits on salads, man. Let's talk about salads real quick. Okay, so you go to a salad bar, or your family makes a salad. They put fucking cucumber in there. Peppers. Little red onions. Cheese. The only things that should be on a salad are... Lettuce. Maybe some Parmesan cheese if you're feeling fucking fancy. Just a little bit. A little bit of croutons. Not too many. I hate it when people just like mound up croutons. I'm eating a fucking salad here. Not a, not a bread salad with a little bit of lettuce. And so a little bit of dressing. Nothing. Don't bury that shit in dressing. Don't bury that shit in croutons. And if you have a meat on it, grilled chicken. That's it. That's as far as a salad should go. Don't put fucking cucumber on my salad. I will shit in your mouth. Alright, this one is uh, for General Sam UL. It's actually spelled out like that. And this was just straight from Amazon, so it doesn't have like a, a prom thing on it. And let's see, you motherfucker. I thought I was out of Big League Chew, and I'm back in business. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I gave you guys an update on Big League Chew, but I finished the last pack like a month ago. But now I guess I have a shitload more. There's no like gift packaging or anything. Alright, well, I guess I have all the candy and treats I need. Oh wait, hold on, we still got this one. This is the last package here. It's to General Sam from China. Got some of that NCR swag, my friend. It's on like a weird, like, cloth sheet thing. How fucking cool is that? General Sam from JB McCleskey. He sent me a bunch of Vela Maya flag f fucking sticker things. Yo, he gave me a fucking Pornhub sticker. <laughs> I'll put this on Abby's car. She'll love it. Alright, hold up. Here we go. Here we go. What is this? What? Are these actual... Is this actual monies? Look how tiny these things are. It says Myanmar, Hong Kong, and it's got a picture of the Queen on it. Hold on here. Let's take a look here, see. Lieutenant Samuel, you're only... The, you're the only list player I watch anymore. Your crude offensive humor gives me a chub. In one mail time video, I saw your iTunes library and had blood and it had as blood runs black in it, and August burns red, and that's fucking sick. Their shows are badass. Back in 2014, I got a handful of Upon a Burning Body and Veil of Maya stickers at Mayhem Festival, two of each to keep my big boy yum yum sauce coming. Also, give a shout out to Noah. Hey Noah, love your videos. J bless. Jables. Jables. Alright, now, if I could go back and talk about these stickers real quick. Um, not to shit on your parade, my friend, but um, as Blood Runs Black, I downloaded the album to listen to it. It was alright. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of them. And then um, August Burns Red, not a huge fan either. I mean, I, my list of artists is fucking massive, and those are in there. They're, they're cool bands, but 
they're, they're definitely not my favorites or anything. Now, if you had given me like a Cult of Luna, you know, sticker or something like that, that would have been the shit right there. Veil of Maya is pretty sick, I guess. They have, uh, what's that album called that I have? Is it on here? Is it on the back here? No, I guess it's one of their older ones. Yeah, The Common Man's Collapse, that's the album I have. It's pretty good. Sumerian Records has some decent bands, too. I guess if these are real life, like this one cent Hong Kong fucking thing, I, 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 that's sweet as shit. I mean, they feel like they might be real, but is this like, is this real money? Am I stupid? Is this real? It looks like it's fucking real. Like, who the fuck would print out tiny little monies like this? The next one is, um, this one got opened at International, uh, uh Customs coming on in. Um, and it was inspected by some guy that did not want his name read because it's, like, super not legible at all. And, uh, it tells me on the outside that there is letters and patches inside. So I just cheated there. And fucking rip it open. This is from PFC Mead, Barry Mead, sending me his I'm a lead farmer motherfucker uh, patch and a number one patch, which I guess that means he's like the coolest guy in his little, his little group. Dear General Sam, my name is PFC Mead. I am a 11B infantryman with the United States Army, currently deployed to Southwest Asia. I'm a driver of a M2A3 Bradley. Sorry, my handwriting is butthole. Yes, it is, my friend. And being such, I'm a busy, busy maintaining and training on these things for 80% of my whole life, uh, awake time. The rest of my time, I'm either, I'm either eating or watching your videos, often at the same time. I just wanted you to know that I'm a huge fan. Just ordered a t-shirt. Woo! And your videos have helped me stay sane and motivated during my deployment. I often watch your Fallout 4 series as I'm on guard with my buddies to help me stay awake. Thank you for all the great vids, all the laughs, and all the times I've choked on my food while watching. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great. Duty first. Much love, PFC Mead. P.S. I've included a big red one patch to stick on whatever you want. P.P.S. The paper is waterproof. Try it out. P.P.P.S. How many before it's too annoying? I've also added my favorite patch and also the guys from Alpha Section, 2nd Platoon, Assault Company, 2nd Battalion, 70th Armor Regiment, 2nd BDE Combat Team, 1st Infantry Division say hi. Holy motherfuck! Alright, so his favorite patch is the, um, I'm a lead farmer motherfucker. Focus, you cunt. And then, uh, this is the, the big red one. Right? These are the finger blasting guys. Come on. There we go. So you're in like Southwest Asia. Are you in like Laos or some shit? Like where where are you at? I don't know exactly where Southwest Asia is. So you're like Thailand or some shit? Anyways, if you're in Laos or whatever, I'm sure you probably watch uh, Apocalypse Now all the time because it really keeps with the nice theme of how to treat those savages. I appreciate you sending in stuff and hello back everyone from the fucking, I'm not reading that out again, from the entire US military. Uh, hello. It's from Joey Morford. And inside we got a fucking fantastic drawing and proper leg length, honestly. Why would you tape it? Why Why would you tape this? It's just a piece. It's folded up inside a letter. All right. Check out that drawing. Is that me or is that me? All right, dear General Sam, how is your, how is your bar mitzvah going? Actually, I never had a bar mitzvah. Apparently I'm not cool enough. I'm ne I've never been a man. Um, all racism aside, comment section, I wanted to tell you that you need to keep up the long videos on Fallout 4. Exclamation point. Once you finish the story, storyline, try doing an hour-long video of you playing at the Automatron DLC. It's, that, it's the drawing, really, that ties it all together. It, it's like a fucking photograph. I think the head size is also probably correct on that. It doesn't. It doesn't say. It's just a. It's just a letter. It's probably anthrax or something. You, you put a, a napkin in here. It says I blew my nose in this while writing to you. Thank you for putting that in there, including that. 
Dear General Sam, my name is Jonathan, and I reside in Gaylord, Michigan. Feel free to make fun of the name because the town isn't anything great anyways. Fucking Gaylord. By the way, I'm the kid who made that tweet about saying, oh my lanta, to be honest, I nearly died when you actually replied. See, Twitter isn't that hard to reply on. I mean, I don't have that many followers on Twitter, so I can easily reply on there. I've been a gigantic fan of yours since the end of the Eastwood saga, but Fallout 4 is even better, in my opinion. You've always been an inspiration to me, so now I really want to make a YouTube channel. You're freaking hilarious, man. It's super late, but congrats on the marriage with Abby, and have a nice Easter. Well, thank you, and good luck on your channel. Oh, yeah, dude, that's it. That's, that's the shit right there. That's the Colossus. Jacob Brown? With the fucking colorful-ass envelope? Look at that thing. Dear Sam, you are my favorite YouTuber. I watch all of your vids and just like everybody else love your intros. We were to send a letter to someone who we look up to. I look up to you because you were really similar in the respects of comedy and gaming. Look, his fucking, his letter opens up and I can wear it like a hat. This is, this is just the, this is just the best day. This is the best day right here. He gave me a calculator. And two pennies. Oh, I didn't think there was any context. There is a letter in here. <laughs> this looks very official. He fucking wrote it in Comic Sans. How many times do I tell you fucking people? Dear General Sam Pepper, I found your channel about three months ago while looking at Skyrim videos, and I've been watching your channel ever since. I felt the need to write you... While your channel is relatively saw, small, so I can be at least 74% sure that you will read this. I'm typing this on a computer because my handwriting is worse than an autistic child with Parkinson's. Back to, way to, the, point, or back to the point of this letter. I want to tell you that I find it amazing how your vocabulary can be so proper and yet so vulgar. I'd also like to thank you for permanently adding words such as uncouth and dapper into my vocabulary. I have left you in this envelope three shekels for your collection and a scientific calculator that I stole from my 7th grade math teacher, so you may calculate said shekels. Right back, sincerely, Joe Gour, Gour, to something fucking Italian. P.S. I'm writing this letter on a laptop that I literally found on the side of the road whilst walking home from school. P.P.S. I don't know if I could... If it would be well received or not, but I personally would like to see more real life cinematics or even as far as vlogging occasionally. I too would like to get into making real life videos. And uh, not to be the ultimate Jew of all time, but you only gave me two shekels, not three, you fucking Italian piece of shit. Thanks for the uh thanks for the, the calculator though, that's nice. I can use this to um calculate how little of a tip I'm gonna leave someone at a restaurant probably no tip honestly alright I think this is the last letter here uh, this one is from George something George Calucas Calicus something fucking Greek is what it looks like to me and uh, frankly oh he lodged a nickel in here no it's a Canadian thing five cents a Canadian nickel do they still call them nickels up in Canada or they have like a different name. I, f I figured it out. <clears throat> my favorite video comes to mind is the Skyrim video, Where Art My Follower. Had me laughing with great joy. When you threw a world-class bitch fit while looking for Bell Ram. Dude, motherfucker would just disappear. I don't know where he was going. At the end, at the end, it tidies up a little bit and it says, P.S. Sorry for the handwriting. I'm a bit fucking dumb. <laughs> I, I can't read it, dude. I don't know what it says. <laughs> but he gave me a nickel, and he gave me a Subway coupon, so I can go get a 99-cent footlong from Jared. He'll, he'll insert it. I think I'm a little bit old for Jared, but I still have, like, a little boyish face. Maybe he'll throw something my way, you know? Uh, I think you guys should take a look at how much shit is on this desk.